what are the functional optimal values that actually causes you to make healthy hormones and healthy hormone balance. Don't go with, that's no, my doctor told me that was normal. Uh, yeah, my doctor told me my hormones were normal too when I was menopausal at 36, okay? So don't take that crap anymore. And here is just a visit of going through the five pillars of transform, um, just to show you guys how there are so many causes of insomnia. And that's why for me, it's never gonna be a one drug deal. <laughs> Number three is, and I'm not even going to like sugarcoat this, um, blood sugar is a huge part of our program, right? And the, the, what I have found is this, is that people with autoimmune disease have crazy high, low, high, low, high, low blood sugar. It's this going from high to low and low to high, this back and forth that's triggering the autoimmune attack. And it's disrupting hormone balance. Your hormones are made most of it while you sleep. And if you have blood sugar problems, it literally stops the hormone balancing and hormone making. So that's, that causes a lot of problems. So in our program, we actually teach you how to master your blood sugar. Therefore, you know, we do a process that I call blood sugar mastery. So how would you like it if blood sugar was completely balanced, no highs and no lows? Guess what? That is actually the quickest, easiest, most effective way to end insomnia because it fixes literally a thousand problems. So if you haven't seen any of my videos on blood sugar, we have um, in our videos, a unit on blood sugar uh, balancing. We have videos on that. If you're interested in some blood sugar balancing videos, um, type in the comment section, um, blood sugar mastery videos. Um, there's a couple that I've done for the Facebook group. Um, I actually did a, a workshop um, with uh, Kim Larkin, one of our uh, alumni with lupus. I did a workshop with her on how to balance blood sugar. Um, and why blood sugar is critical in so many areas of our program. So if you're interested in being tagged in that video uh, of the workshop I did with Kim, go ahead and write um, blood sugar mastery video. That would be great. Uh, blood sugar workshop video in the comments. That would be great. So this is going to be a, the quickest, most effective way to deal with it. Number four is going to be gut healing. And so it is true. What I say, what people say is, is that that's your, that's your tummy area. Okay. I'm a terrible artist. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it's a ginormous belly button. Anyway, your tummy sets the inflammatory tone for your entire body. Okay, I'm going to say this again. Your gut sets the inflammatory tone of your entire body. So if your gut is warring, okay, it's if it's warring with something, guess what's happening while you're sleeping? You are in a war the entire freaking night. Why the hell do you think you're waking up with monkey brain all night? Well, I sure as hell will have monkey brain if there's monkeys going on in my gut fighting a war, all right? Does that make sense? So this is why for me, it's really important to think about how do we calm any sort of infection, inflammation, the inflammatory tone of the gut. And this is where the food mapping is really gonna tie in. Knowing exactly which foods you need to remove and which one you need to add back in is gonna be key. And then also mastering your blood sugar is going to be key to heal and calm your gut to decrease the inflammation tone. And finally, the fifth pillar is going to be vitamins and nutrients. And just so you guys know, this is not my five pillars training where I go into detail about each pillar. I'm honestly just going through a one dive, just visiting each section to show you how insomnia ties into every single of ever every single pillar of our program and why we are so effective at solving problems like insomnia because it requires a thoughtful approach of how all these pieces fit together. So, how do vitamins and nutrients actually even touch on insomnia? Well, you know what? Vitamin and nutrient deficiencies, and those of us, most of us have gut absorption problems because of all these food problems, right? So that ties into the food mapping, right? And if your gut isn't healed or it's infected, it's also going to cause an absorption problem with all these vitamins and nutrients. And these vitamin and nutrient deficiencies actually will cause hormone problems. You won't be able to make certain hormones. You won't be able to get rid of certain hormones to balance your hormones. So if you have gut problems and you have vitamin and nutrient problems, you're going to have crazy ass hormone problems. Okay. Uh, and guess what? That's a vicious cycle that will feed the insomnia over and over again. And I'm just going to give you an example, like vitamin D is actually a hormone. <laughs> vitamin D isn't a vitamin, it's a hormone. Okay, so would vitamin D deficiency affect every hormone making cell in your body? 100%. So this is why it's so important and crucial to learn about vitamins and nutrients, what get data around it, 
right? And number two is what are the functional optimal values that actually causes you to make healthy hormones and healthy hormone balance? Don't go with that's no, my doctor told me that was normal. Uh, yeah, my doctor told me my hormones were normal too when I was menopausal at 36. Okay, so don't take that crap anymore. And here is just a visit of going through the five pillars of transform, um, just to show you guys how there are so many causes of insomnia. And that's why for me, it's never going to be a one drug deal. It's not like here, little lady, take some Ambien here, take this supplement. Um, supplement and herbs can be helpful to the extent that they are helpful for one or multiple of these pillars. So there's not a miracle. It's understanding what the root causes are and when you know what the root causes are for you, you can then surgically look at, hey, if hormones is like, well, which is why for me, it's so important to do all the pillars at once uh, with Transform. Like we're an online program where we cover all these areas in a matter of two months, including all the testing, training, and mentorship to teach you how these pieces fit together, right? But let's say you find out your biggest linchpin is hormones and you know what that pattern is. Well, you're going to know the exact lifestyle herbs, um, tools that are necessary to actually balance hormones. Because when you balance hormones, this is just about your periods. No, it's about the monkey brain people. It's about the anxiety. It's about the hot flashes. <laughs> and guess what? Pain. A lot of you said pain was causing you not to be able to sleep. Do you know that I'm just going to highlight here, blood sugar mastery. How do we end pain so much, right? I just finished an interview with Kimberly, who's like week four in our program with Sjogren's with level like nine to 10 out of pain. And about within the first four weeks, her fatigue was done and her pain level was like nine or 10, went way down. But why? Okay, what is the biggest lever when it comes to decreasing pain? And I'm gonna tell you right now, right here is blood sugar mastery. It sounds crazy, but it's not. If you have blood sugar held that's up and down, and therefore it's causing you anxiety, palpitations, and insomnia all night, and you're not sleeping all night, guess when the repair happens for pain? While you sleep. So while you sleep is not only a time you make hormones, while you sleep is the time that your body repairs from pain. So you don't have a chance in hell if you have insomnia of actual pain recovery. Does that make sense? That's why for me, like when we look at our pain essentials line, so we have in our supplement store, a line for pain. Um, we have a line for blood sugar. We have a hormone balancing line. We have a gut healing line. But the thing is, when I think about it, let's say I'm just looking at the blood sugar line. Um, some of the things that we're looking at when you're looking at blood sugar uh, mastery um, is a lot of actually there's herbs that are around that are not only do they balance blood sugar, but they're actually anti-pain. So for example, like ProMove. Um, ProMove is one of our products where it is very helpful um, with, uh, the, there's a high curcumin in there. There's a lot of other herbs in there that are helpful in blood sugar balancing, but it's also really anti-pain because it has mechanisms to balance the blood sugar, which I already told you is the quickest lever, but it also has mechanisms that's really anti-pain with the Boswellia, with the curcumin, with the other herbs that are in there. So this is just a walkthrough and I, and I want you guys to really understand what it's like to actually work with someone who's a functional medicine doctor doctor who has this figured out on how these pieces fit together. It doesn't even matter to me what the health problem is. Um, this happens to work really well for autoimmunity, but we can even take one symptom like insomnia and I can go through how each pillar is actually crucial and critical um, for, you know, for, for you in understanding the causation. Because when you understand the cause, guess what? You can fix it. I love being able to teach the mechanisms. I love being able to tell people what kind of data is going to be necessary. And therefore, when you understand the why, then the how becomes super easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's my autoimmune table talk of the week. If you are watching this outside the Facebook group, join our Facebook group, Transform Autoimmune Disease Naturally. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click the bell and subscribe to our channel. And if you're watching this IG, make sure to follow us. All right, everybody, have a great day.